For more on this, we've reached Frédéric Berard. He's a professor at the University of Montreal Law School. Uh, Frédéric, welcome to uh, the rundown. Thank you. What's your reaction to this bill being adopted? Uh, <laughs> it's probably the, the shortest bill I've seen in my life. There's only one section. It's pretty, pretty brief. One sentence, that's it and that's all. Um, I'm not sure that uh, this bill is constitutional. It might be, but there also might be uh, some concern about it in the sense that is it Section 45, which says that the National Assembly can do it by itself, or it's more Section 41, which uh, says that unanimity is necessary to amend anything that could affect the charges uh, of the king. So if that's the second case, then we could think that the bill is unconstitutional. Hmm. Okay, so do you remember just, uh, you can paraphrase, but what is the sentence? Or you know, what is the one sentence? Well, I, I do have it in French because as we know, mm -hmm. as you might know, we don't translate things in English anymore in Quebec <laughs> since yeah. Bill 96. But the sentence in French is something like, uh, section, and I can translate it for sure. you if you like, it. section 128 of uh, the constitutional law of 1867 does not apply to Quebec. That's it. <laughs> that's it. And so, so from and that, all. so from that, you don't have to swear allegiance. So these PQ M and A's uh, don't have to swear allegiance to the king. They can just do they, do they swear allegiance to the people of Quebec? Who who are they swearing allegiance to? Well, we don't have a clue. Uh, there are no other sections uh, within the bill itself. Uh, might be the rules of the National Assembly at one point that uh, that give more details about it. But as, as of now, this is what we know. So that's really interesting. So they're not swearing right now. It's just, you know, there's that one line. So it becomes optional to swear allegiance to the king. And there's nothing else in terms of taking an oath of office. There's nothing else involved. Not at all. I mean, section uh, the section one of the bill is the only sanction, as I said. And uh, we don't have any other mention of whatever uh, might be relevant. I mean, as you said, like mm -hmm. swearing uh, allegiance to the people of Quebec or whatever, we don't have any more details within the bill. So in my opinion, it's a bill that has, that has been like passed very, very quickly for uh, political reasons, obviously. And uh, it's like, it's, it's, it shows the new a propension of the Quebec government say, yeah, you know what, the Constitution, we don't really care about it, and the judicial power, we don't really care about it, so we are doing anything that we like as fast as we like without any details. So, I, I mean, I, I, I'm no expert or anything, but I feel kind of like if you are an elected representative, you have to, you have to take some <laughs> kind of oath and swear allegiance to something or someone or, or, or the people you represent, no? Uh, whatever we like, maple syrup, uh, hockey, uh, but at least something, <laughs> I agree with you. So do you think that this could end up in the courts where, the, where someone will challenge it and say, hey, wait a second, like this, 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 is, this isn't good enough? Yeah, well, the, actually, the, we, need somebody, the, 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 we, we need somebody to challenge it if we want to have a court's ruling on it. Um, the court cannot, you know, just you know, decide whatever they like without any challenge. Obviously, uh, who's going to challenge it? That's, that's, that's a, a relevant question. Maybe the uh, Monarchist Association uh, of mm -hmm. Quebec or whoever uh, in that type of, uh, of organizations. Um, but uh, if there is a challenge, I would say that the first question we, we, we spoke um, together is that, uh, meaning that is, is that section 41 and section 45 would be at the heart of that said challenge and, and we'll see what the court's going to decide on. Frédéric, uh, pretty, really interesting. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks to you. Frédéric Perra is a constitutional lawyer and a professor with the University of Montreal Law School.